Alright, so this video is going to be a tutorial of how to get the banjo switch working on your brake light. Um, if you've ever bought a rear set from China, the adjustable ones, um, they're, they're a very cheap alternative to go to. Um, and um, they look cool too, so um, a lot of people buy these and, and they think that you cannot have a... Um, a, a brake light no more because there's no bracket right for the for the brake light thing to go on the little thingy switch or whatever it's called I don't know how to explain it but if, if you're watching this video I'm assuming you know anyways um, all you gotta do is get a banjo switch um, the rear set that I bought um, it came with it um, I don't know if yours came with it or not but mine came with a banjo switch Apparently there's different kinds and there's two different ways to do it. Um, I'm going to show you a video that they sent me. This is one from the, 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 um, the Chinese people that I bought it from. They made this video. They just couldn't upload it to YouTube because of uh, restrictions in China with the internet. So they sent it to me email and um, I'll put it up and uh, so you guys can see. And then I'll, I'll also uh, put up a video of me installing mine, how I did mine, all right? Um, I'm not gonna show you how to install the rear set. I'm assuming you already know how to do that. There's, they're pretty, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, this is pretty self-explanatory too, but um, a lot of people don't know about this. And uh, I didn't see any videos of uh, someone showing clearly how to do it. So here goes. This is uh, gonna be the Chinese people doing their thing and then I'll show you mine. So they're pretty much just putting a the same banjo switch that I got here. This is the one that they sent me. Showing you how to put it onto the brake caliper. Or whatever. Not the caliper, but you know what I mean. <laughs> And he takes it off and shows you how to do it a different way. This different way though, I don't know. I don't have this one, so maybe someone else has this one. But it's gonna be the same concept. <clears throat> Just put that. I actually wish they would have sent me one of those. to be honest. And then I didn't, wouldn't need a bolt anymore. All right, so here goes. Now I'm going to show you how to how I did mine. This is a 2003 Jixer 1000. All right, here's the switch that it comes with. Obviously, I can't use that no more. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one right here that they sent me, this banjo switch. All right. At first, I didn't even know what this was. So I was like, what the heck? How am I going to make this work? And then I looked it up did some research I didn't find any videos on it so that's why I'm making this one hopefully this helps somebody out so first thing I'm gonna do is put it on right so go ahead and take your brake line off um, mine was I believe a 12 millimeter bolt so 
Something like that. Go ahead and do that. You're obviously going to leak a little bit of brake fluid and um, put some air in the line. Just don't push your brake or anything like that. Just take it out real quick. Try to hold it in place and just slide in the new line and find the thread. Make sure you don't cross thread it or anything like that. And put it back in. Okay, make sure you have it in a nice spot too where, you, where it's not in the way or, you know, not gonna cause any problems. Don't laugh at my pain. There you go. Once you get that all nice and tight on there, make sure it's really, really tight. Okay. Not going nowhere. Now you gotta splice the cables. All right? Let me show you real quick what that's gonna look like. All right, this is on a 2003 Jixer 1000. Depending on your bike, you know, it's gonna look different, so don't think it's gonna look the same, but it should be the same concept. Then you get your brake light switch cable all right you get a nice little cutting tool and whoa holy resolution change batman i'm sorry um my uh dslr lost battery so left as they often do so um, i had to switch to the gopro gopro had to come save the day and uh here i am cutting off my uh old one, old switch, to splice in my new one, and basically all you're doing here is cable work, put positive with positive, negative with negative, splice them together, call it a day, simple. So basically just take your time, make sure you don't you know cross match the wires or anything like that mismatch them um, leave yourself enough wire to play with in case you mess up that's always a good thing um, besides that nothing really much to go over here so let's speed it up a little bit Make sure you bleed your brakes too after after this because you're gonna have air in them. All right, don't forget to do that. Yeah. Also secure those wires with uh, tape and wire nuts, whatever you got, okay? I used something um, that I had uh, in there, some, some crimp, crimps basically, some cable crimps, all right? So here we go, we're gonna test it out, see how it goes. All right, Let's turn on the light, and uh, let's press that brake. There we go, there you go. See, light comes on every time you press it. There you go banjo cable that's how you use a 
Chinese rear set without losing your brake light. All right, most places will have the banjo cable. If not, you gotta buy your own. Okay, hope this helps somebody. Good luck.